All right. Just watch. What's up, everybody, and welcome to The Safe State, a channel about all the things you love in nerd culture. My name is Landon Barton. I've got Derek Owen here, and we've seen the new trailer for DC Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, what do you think of that? Um, so I thought the trailer wasn't actually that bad. Um, it's kind of an interesting take on the, the story. Um, Rory from Doctor Who is in it, so that's cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, it's, I don't... It's always good to see him. I don't... Yeah watch the CW sure. shows regularly, so I don't know much about this as you. Um, from the trailer, I originally had gotten the impression that it was Arrow and Flash putting together this team, and the group of them were going to be traveling through time stopping and stuff, but I guess you're saying that Instead Flash and Arrow will not be... Right, they're, they're so building they're the team, it. they're assembling the team, and then they're going to go on. So they're kind of like, hey, you guys save the world, peace. Yeah. And that's it. Well, kind of. I mean, they're going to be making... Uh, you know, appearances in the crossovers in the same way mm -hmm. that Flash crossovers in Arrow all the time and Arrow crosses over into Flash all the time. They're going to be in there a lot. Hopefully I mean, we even frequent. see in the trailer that the Flash is in the future with them trying mm -hmm. to stop um, some stuff. I mean, Flash probably doesn't even need to use whatever machine they're yeah, using to go into the, into the future. He can just do it himself through Does he know uh, he can do force. that yet? He's done it a few times on the show. Okay, that's yeah. cool. Um, so what is, what's cool, I mean, you, you referenced, uh, Rory from Doctor Who, mm -hmm. uh, this trailer really, really felt like was he a Doctor Who cross superheroes. Yeah. Like, it really, really feels that way in the, in, in the kind of It's even cheesy... better though, because he said he's from the group called the Time Masters. I know. Not the Time Masters. I know. <laughs> and he's from Doctor Who. Like, yeah. they could not have picked a better person to they, say that sentence. They knew what they were doing yeah, when they for picked sure. that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, but I mean, even in the way that the CG is handled and in the tropes behind it, the way mm -hmm. that it visually looks and felt, <clears throat> it felt very Doctor Who like. So I think that if you're going to be a fan of Doctor Who, and and maybe you're trying to get into superheroes, this is actually probably a good show for you. Mm -hmm. um, now, the, uh, there is a new character that hasn't been. Yeah. In, in so this. we can go over with some characters. Yeah. yeah. Hawk Girl is. I think she looks cool. She looks cool. I'm so excited. I'm very curious how they're going to do Hawk Girl. In so. This. I think Hot Girl looks pretty cool. White Canary looks pretty cool. Firestorm looks interesting because he's an older guy. I don't know if he's older in the comics. Well, you know what? Kinda cool. Firestorm, so because you don't necessarily know who fire, what Firestorm. Mm -hmm. Firestorm is two different people that are fused together. Oh wow! And they create Firestorm. Which and one so is he? It's in? a is younger he guy Flash and an older guy. That you meet him? Um, he's in Flash. Okay, and then um, I don't know how I feel about the Atom. Um, like you said, he's he awesome. kind of feels like Iron Man, but self-deprecating and doesn't really know what he's capable yeah. of yet. He's got all of so the... So it'll be interesting. The way that Brandon Ruth I plays like that the character. Actor, yeah, the so. way that Brandon Ruth plays that character, it's so good because it's he has all of the, the quick and witty quips that Iron Man mm -hmm. Tony Stark has, but he's, instead of being like, I'm amazing and I'm this... this Incredible man. Yeah. He's just he kind of pokes fun at himself. Yeah. Like he's awkward. So it'll be interesting. So good. I'm interested. And then I don't know how I feel about Icy Hot. <laughs> Those two that. guys, the two villains. Yeah. That, uh, I like the actor that plays Mr. Cold, Captain or Cold. Captain Cold. That's it. Because I, I watched him. I've seen him in a few things. He's a good actor. It just they seem out of place. Yeah. So I hope it's not lame. If, but I think if you if you watch. If you watched Arrow and you watched Flash, you might feel a little. What do different. they do? Do they just literally have a cold gun and a hot gun? Is that mm -hmm. what they do? Yeah. Well, basically. Uh, so what can they just do wield? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, in this, there's a whole story. There's a whole <laughs> backstory behind it. I don't. We don't need to get into okay, it. Okay. Okay. Watch a show. It's good. It's fun. Yeah. I like the show. <laughs> um, <laughs> so. I am excited about this show. I think it looks good. I, I, I think it'll I be fun. A, I'm excited at the, the idea of having an Avengers-type show on a weekly basis. It is That's pretty yeah. cool. It is now three superhero shows on the CW. At least they're all connected. Maybe that's what they're going to become. There's be the new superhero channel. Yeah. They'll just totally do okay DC's with lineup for them because they can't get movies out. So. Well, they will. They're working on it. Hopefully. <laughs> You're the skeptic. I'm the optimist. <laughs> I just want DC to be where Marvel's at because I like DC characters more than Marvel characters. But I think just... they will. We'll see. We'll see in. Uh, ask, let's ask this question in three years. Okay. So, anyways, that's that's kind of our take on. Uh, it does look cool. DC's Legends it. of Tomorrow. So let us know in the comments. Are you guys excited about this? Does this actually look good? And will it? If you're not, if you're kind of a passing superhero fan, or maybe you don't watch superhero TV shows, is this something that'll get you into? Did it? Did it say when it comes out? It probably did, but I don't know it Crap. right now. I'm sorry. We'll probably put an annotation. Just you know, it's a bummer that you got to watch like four seasons of show, of shows to catch up on what's going on. Hopefully, now. they don't make it integral to do that. Yeah, but you feel I Can feel like you get better experience knowing where all these characters came from. You will, damn, but it's probably not. That's necessary. a lot of TV. 
So, anyways, if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up and a subscribe. You can find out more from us. We're on Facebook. We're also on Twitter. And uh, we'll see you guys next time for more superhero news. Thank you.